super fight. Tudo, uh, Valley Tudo title fight, uh, t plus 85 kilograms. So uh, we've got a good fight here. He really looks, um, he looks a handful, doesn't He's he? He's a scary bloke, Neil. <laughs> all Chris Dolman's people are mean looking men. They're all very conditioned. Um, Chris Dolman, of course, is a legendary um, uh, shoot fighter. Uh, one of the students Milton of John Keynes. Blooming, who was Welcome one of the very the first ring. heavyweights to go and train in Japan and judo, is a legendary character in the world of um, shoot fighting. And and, uh, well, Lee has the, well, he's got a kickboxing background, and uh, obviously, um, you know, he's going to be looking to uh, to fight at a distance. He's he's going to want to kick, but um, uh, I mean, uh, Tor Hauser, well, what uh, what do you think his game plan is going to be? I would say that he's going to try and take it straight to the floor. He knows kick, Lee is an international standard kickboxer um, and Torauser is a power lifter and a predominantly a ground fighter. I think he'll try and go for the floor, Neil. Well, uh, it's certainly what I tried to do. I mean, I, I'll try and close the uh, oh, here gap. Here he goes, down. Neil. Yeah, straight, <laughs> straight away. away. <laughs> yes, straight away. Lee's got him in his guard. He looks very calm there. He doesn't look... Uh, he, he, you know, he's not too tense. You notice a lot of the early fighters were very tense. And he's very, uh, he's very calm there. Well, I, I think, you know, we were saying that, uh, you know, if you get somebody that can actually fight off their back, and uh, it, it is in an attacking position, it doesn't look like it, but if you've got somebody that can use the legs to their advantage, then um, it's an attacking position, and... Uh, you know, that, that's why he looks confident. He's looking yeah, for the arm and he's absolutely. looking for an advantage. He's using his legs well as well, isn't he? There he goes, he's trying to tip him. Oh, very nearly. Now, the danger when you go for that, of course, is that they can get past the guard. Well, but, yeah, uh, I'm surprised there. And then he's let him straight back in straight there. Straight back in again, yeah. And, and he's um, looking for the arm there, Neil. Yeah, he, he, there, there it is. Oh, lovely, oh. lovely. That's well, a beautiful armbar. He's tapped out immediately from there, Jeff. And, you know, one of the reasons is, I mean, he didn't actually pull the arm in. Uh, he never even pulled the arm in. He didn't and, defend uh, it, did he, no? Uh, there was no resistance to it. I mean, if you get a judo man and you attack uh, his arm, the first thing he does is pull the arm in, and uh, yeah. he didn't do that, though. That was a nice finish, wasn't it? It was a lovely finish. I mean, he just uh, rolled straight over. I mean, uh, you know, in judo terms, we call it Juju Katami, and, uh, you know, the arm was straight immediately. I mean, there was no resistance to it, and I think uh, that, um, you know, he's going to be aware of that the next time he fights. Absolutely. So there he is. Uh, super fight, um, you know, uh, title goes to Lee Hasdell. And a good win there. <laughs> a very nice win.